So let's take a look at this question together. It says that we have a wheel initially has an angular velocity of minus 36 radians per second. But after six seconds, the angular velocity is minus 24 radians per second. If the angular acceleration in this is constant, then what is our value of it? Well, I have an object and it's going to be spinning around and it's going to start off with an initial omega naught equaling minus 36 radians per second. At some point later, I'm going to call that omega final, is going to be minus 24 radians per second. And I know that I have one of my kinematic equations for rotations that say omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t. And I look and I see that I have my time is equal to six seconds up here. So I have omega final, omega initial, and alpha t. So now I just have to be careful. This minus sign indicates that it's actually probably should have drawn this in the other direction. Assuming that up is positive z direction, that would be correct for uh, angular velocity using my right hand rule. But the equation will hold. So I put in minus 36 radians per second is going to be equal to minus 24 radians per second. And I have to add in my alpha times my 6 seconds. So I worked this out minus 36, so I get 36 minus 24 radians per second is equal to alpha times 6 seconds. So 36 minus 24 is going to give me a value of, let's see, 36, 24, it's going to give me 12 radians per second is equal to alpha times 6 seconds or 2 radians per second squared is going to be alpha. And we notice that this value here was a positive value. So my radians is 2 radians per second squared, or my angular acceleration is 2 radians per second squared, and it's a positive value. I'm going to do a quick check on this one. I go from minus 36 to minus 24. So this is clearly slowing down its rotation speed. So it's rotating and it's getting slower as it rotates. And if I'm getting slower, I know that my angular acceleration has to be in the opposite direction of my angular velocity. If they're in the same direction, we'd getting, be getting faster. So not a hard problem, just have to be careful with our math and make sure we don't do any simple algebraic or arithmetic errors.